family, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you know, I'm Lanisa King and I provide you with wisdom and encouragement through my videos and I bring you many lessons straight from the Word of God. This month we've been teaching on a special series called The Power of Prayer and I've been bringing out special keys, keys that you need to know in order to have effective prayers and to also see your prayers come to pass and so i've been t teaching on things like when you come to god you must come uh, to him in jesus's name and when you come to god you must come with praise and thanksgiving in your heart and when you come to god you must always re be re Repentive, making sure that you're repenting of your sin and forgiving others. Uh, these are uh, serious keys so that your prayers are answered and not hindered. Uh, I taught on things like prayer and fasting. Uh, definitely is very powerful when you pray to God you must pray according to his will and his will is his word and so I teach on all these different things so that you see your prayers answered well today is the last key it's key number eight and this one is pray with persistence you must pray with persistence in order to see your prayers answered and effective in the kingdom of God. You can't give up once you start. Once you start your mission to see your prayers answered, be persistent in that. Uh, you must stand still until you see what you're praying for come to pass. Uh, we're going to take a look at two stories today in the Bible that will validate uh, what I am saying concerning persistence. Uh, we will start with Luke 18, 1 through 8. And it says, one day Jesus told his disciples a story to show uh, that they should always pray and never give up. There was a judge in a certain city. He said, who, uh, he said he neither feared God or cared about people. A widow of that city came to him repeatedly saying, give me justice in this dispute with my enemy. The judge ignored her for a while, but finally he said to himself, I don't fear God or care about people, but this woman is driving me crazy. I'm going to see that she gets justice because she is wearing me out uh, with her constant request. See, she had persistence. The next story is found in Luke 11, 5 through 10, and it says, Then teaching them more about prayer, he used this story. Suppose you went to a, friend, uh, a friend's house at midnight, wanting to borrow three loaves of bread, and you say to him, A friend of mine has just arrived for a visit, and I have nothing to give him to eat. And suppose... Uh, he calls out from his bedroom, the person that he's uh, trying to get the bread from. The person calls out from the bedroom and says, don't bother me. The door is locked for the night and my family and I are in bed. I can't help you. But the Lord says, I tell you this, though he won't do it for friendship's sake, if you keep knocking long enough, he will give up and give you whatever you need because of your shameless persistence. The Lord was teaching his disciples about persistence. And he said, and this is what the Lord said, and so I tell you, keep on asking and you'll receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. So in both of these stories, the widow and the neighbor didn't give up. They came repeatedly seeking after what they needed. They... The king gave the widow 
what she was asking because of her persistence. Jesus was telling his disciples through these stories to have faith and not to give up. He wanted them to know the type of faith that gets the results they need. He wanted them to know that he hears their prayers and will grant their request if they didn't give up. Well, that's it for today's series in the month of November called The Power of Prayer. I hope you've enjoyed these keys and definitely apply these keys to your prayer life and see the miraculous things that happen in your prayer life because you put these tools into action. Today's scripture is found in Psalms 27 verse 14 and it says, Be strong and let your heart Take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord because he's going to do what he says he's going to do according to his word. Well, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and also click the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. I love you guys. Also, remember to share this with your family and your friends. Well, God bless you and keep you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.